Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to show you in this video is how to make sure that your Pluto TV app or channel on your Roku is updated and able to launch. We have the latest update on our Roku already. We took a look at it and you know we're going to show you what it actually looks like. But first, let's cover some things that I've been running across. There are people who are saying that when they try to launch the channel, that what it's doing is bouncing them back out to the home screen like this. You know, they launch it, and it just bounces them back out. And you know, they're like, why? You know, why isn't my Pluto launching? It's apparently something uh, maybe a little clumsy in the way that it was updated. I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose, but that is an issue that's happening here's how you fix that first of all if you still got the old Pluto TV and you want to go ahead and update let me show you what you're gonna do on that you go into go into settings you're gonna go into system you press OK you go down to where you see system update and you press OK and you go to check now when you check now it will update any app that needs to be updated so you just press OK and go from there. We've already done that step so we're going to skip it and we're going to jump in and then show you what to do next. Once you do this your app will update but still it's for quite likely that you'll launch it and it'll bounce out. So what you're going to want to do is this. You want to select Pluto TV on your Roku and you're going to press the star button this brings up this menu here that gives you a bunch of different choices and what you're going to do is select remove channel you're going to press OK and you're going to select remove where it says remove obviously that's going to take Pluto TV off of your Roku what you do next is go over to search it's sometimes more direct to go into the streaming channels because that is the channel store so we'll just do that. You go down into search channels and type in Pluto. You see by the time I get to PL, Pluto TV is already on there. So we're going to select it. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to say add channel. Right, and we're going to go to the channel. Just so you know, once you have re-added the channel like this, it's most likely, no matter where it was on your screen to begin with, now that it's like a new channel, it's like updated, it's, it, Roku kind of recognizes it as a brand new channel. So it's going to put it at the bottom of your screen. It's going to at the bottom of your channel selections. So if you don't want to scroll through everything, you can always just go straight up from the top. It'll bring you to the bottom and you launch it. Now once in here you'll see that it has a very very different look and I'm going to show you how to navigate the menu in general. You have these categories on the side, see movies, entertainment and so on. When before there was a, you know, a grid you know, and you would find all of the movies, all of the TV shows, all the sports. Now it has this sort of blocky thing. And how it works is this. You go to something like movies. You press OK, and then you see that the scroller moves over, and now you're in your movie channels. It works the same way with everything else. Entertainment, you press OK, and now it goes to that. And from here you choose what it is that you want to say. It works like that with all of these categories. Pressing back on your Roku remote will bring you to the top of the screen. From here you can go into say on demand. And again, it works much the same way. You know, if you want to go into sitcoms, press OK. And now you're into the sitcom section. You scroll through. Press back. Binge watch. Here's everything you can binge watch. These are channels built just 
for certain things. So it's still the same old Pluto TV. It's just a little bit different experience. You just got to remember that you know you choose a category and press OK. It kind of operates more like a website where you're clicking on you know different sections, different headings. I don't know if they figure that this makes it easier to navigate, easier to control. We'll see. But that is how Pluto TV works now. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and pass this on to anybody who's having any trouble understanding what's going on with Pluto TV. I, I know it's kind of frustrating if it's one of your favorite channels and all of a sudden you can't get to it, but that's how you fix it and that's how you navigate it and use it from here on out until they do another update. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. As always, please subscribe and stream on, my friends.